Hey guys, it's Juicy Taz 201 and you know what? It's a little dark in here, and this is an ice building. So, uh, what does that mean? I, I don't think I can light it if it's ice. Eh, wrong. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in for episode 6 of City Tips and Tricks. It's been a long time, guys. It's been about three months since I did the last uh, one, and I'm psyched to do this one. And today we are doing it on lighting in ice buildings, and let's get started right away. So this is a big issue when people are trying to build ice buildings. They don't know how far they should put lighting away, and it's very easy. So what I do is when I have a, you know, like a window right here, go all the way up to the ceiling, I go three blocks over, and then I put the lighting right there. It doesn't matter if it's glowstone or, like, you know, uh, beacons lighting or the redstone lighting. It doesn't matter. Like, three blocks away from the window is perfect, and the ice will not melt. It used to be that it was, like, four blocks away, but they changed it for some reason, and it kind of benefited people who built with ice, like... I do and a lot of city builders do. Throw three blocks away, and if you have like a three block spacing in between each floor, and I'll show you right up here, I have only a two block spacing so I can have a nice ceiling and a nice floor. If you make it a three and you make this, the lights go up in the ceiling by a block, then you can actually put them to the, the window closer by and make it two blocks and the ice won't melt. If you guys don't understand what I mean, it's alright, it just doesn't, it's not really, doesn't really matter, but, um, how I have it right there, with it being three blocks away from the window, that actually makes it so it will not melt, and from outside, it looks like the building has light in it. And this lighting here alone actually provides a lot of lighting with my fireplace right there. Now, if you guys are wondering what room I'm in, I'm in uh, a room that I made for this video at 432 uh, Park Avenue skyscraper apartment thing. Um, that's a lot to say, but this is where I'm at, and I'm just playing around with lighting right now. But yeah, four or three is a good number, guys. Oh, looks like we have somebody joined the game. Ghost is a host. Yep, I, by the way, I, guys, I do keep my game open, so uh, I don't mind you guys joining whenever I'm in doing a video. Um, but again, back to the video. So three blocks away, you should be good. And any comments or uh, questions, just uh, comment in the area below. It's really not like a long video, so it, it wasn't really hard to explain, I don't think. So at least lighting should be at least three blocks away from the, uh, the window. And you'll be good. And guys, it's been Juicy Taz 201. Thank you for tuning in to City Tips and Tricks. It's been a while since I said that, but it's been episode 6 with your host, Juicy Taz 201. And I'll see you guys next time. It's Juicy Taz 201 signing out. Bye.